Hi everyone, it's Sandy, and today I'm doing a series review on the Summer Solstice series by K.K. Allen. K.K. Allen is actually an indie author, and I really want to get her books more out there, and since the last book in the series recently came out, I thought it would be a perfect timing to film a series review. The author sent me the first book called Enchanted after I expressed interest in it over a year ago in exchange for an honest review, which I will link below, and she was kind enough to continue sending me the following books in her series. So thank you, K.K. Allen. This series is young adult fantasy and paranormal this whole series review will have no spoilers so you can watch this review if you haven't read the series yet and at the end of the video I will be giving away a signed copy of the first book along with three Kindle versions Enchanted is the first book in the series and I actually reread the first and second book before filming this review because I wanted information about the series to be fresh in my mind. This book follows Kat who moves to Apollo Beach to live with her estranged grandmother after her mother unexpectedly passes away. Her dad's not in the picture so her options were either to live in foster care or to live with her grandmother who she has never met before. Kat's birthday is on the summer solstice and on the days leading up to her birthday she's experiencing a bunch of dreams and visions. When she finally turns 16 she learns something about herself and her ancestry and it all relates to magic. There is an incorporation of Greek mythology in this series but it all has its own unique spin to it. I'm sure you've all read books where you devour every single word on the page and you can't stop reading and this book definitely has an addictive quality to it. I love the setting of this story because it's by the beach and it gives off a lot of summery vibe, hence the name of the series and the main character's last name, Summer. Kat's grandmother name is Rose and since Kat has never met her grandmother before, there was a lot of backstory in this book which I thought was really interesting to learn about. Rose is a well-respected member of the community but throughout the series she keeps a lot of secrets from Kat. Although she does it with good intentions, it was really frustrating to Kat and to myself as well when I was reading the story. Rose truly cares about Kat's safety and well-being, and although she started off the series as being really cold and distant, she really grows on you throughout the series. Rose has a caretaker named Charlotte, and I loved her character. She is like a motherly slash sisterly figure to Kat. She's one of my favorite characters throughout the series, and I also thought Kat was a really great character. I was able to connect to her character, and I loved being on this entire journey with her. She's really brave, and I love that she stands up for what she believes in. I love how this book has a contemporary feel to it at first, but then as the series goes on, it still has that contemporary feel to it but it's a lot more magical and I love that. This is the shortest book in the series but it's such a great setup for the next two books. With the way this book ended you know that there's a lot more to come and there definitely was. So in the end I ended up giving this book a 4 out of 5 stars. The second book is called The Equinox and it basically picks up where the last book has ended and in the last book you were briefly introduced to who the enemy would be in the series and in this book you get to see how everything plays out. In this book you learn a lot about the world. It's a lot more complex than you would imagine going into it but it's still really easy to follow which I really like. I loved some of the new characters. One of the new characters is actually a mythological creature and I'm not gonna say what that creature is but it was such a wonderful and magical touch to the story. I thought it was amazing to see how much more comfortable Kat is with her magical abilities. There is romance in the series and it's not what I expected when I first read the first book. There is a new love interest in this book which means that there was another guy before this new character was introduced and I'm sure you guys are like oh I hate love triangles I hate love triangles too but this love triangle is not what you would typically expect from a love triangle I'm being very vague about this whole situation because I don't want to spoil anything and don't let this whole love triangle thing stop you from picking up the first book because this whole series is definitely worth the read there was a lot of surprising twists in the story that I totally did not see coming which I really really enjoyed since I did reread this book I noticed some hints throughout this book and in the previous book that the author plays strategically well and I applause her for that because I didn't notice it when I first read it but once I reread it I was like oh my gosh that totally hints as to this in the future. So in the end I also gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars. The Descendant is the last book in the series and this book starts off with a big time jump which I did not expect. It's basically a year and a half since the ending of the second book which ended in a very big cliffhanger in my opinion. There is an explanation for the time jump which is totally understandable and I love that the author included several chapters that took place from the end of the second book to the beginning of this book so it gets the readers caught up on what happened during that time period. The back and forth past and present chapters flow very well like it didn't feel choppy to me. 
This is a book where the romance situation gets a little bit frustrating. I'm not going to go into too much details, but it does get resolved pretty quickly, which I love that the author did. I really appreciated how the author handled the love triangle and how she didn't drag it out like other authors would do in their books, which can be super, super frustrating. And although it was frustrating at the beginning, it was resolved pretty quickly, so it's all good. There's a big family aspect in this book, and I really loved it. I love books that have like a really Really great family dynamic and this book definitely does. I think the author did a wonderful job at balancing the conflict, the romance, and the family situation in this book. As with her other books, this book definitely has a lot of plot twists and lots of crazy and action-packed things happen in this book. Although the other two books were told in Kat's perspective and this book was also mainly told in her perspective, I like that the author included several chapters in a different character's perspective and she did it in moments where it was necessary to read from a different character's point of view. So by the end of this book, the author does hint at a possibility of more books in the future for this series, but it's going to be different. I'm really looking forward to that, but for now, Kat's story has come to an end. I didn't realize how invested I was in the story and the characters until I finished this book. I did shed a few tears at the end and it was just really emotional and I loved how the author wrapped the story up. It was a really great conclusion and overall I give this book a 4 out of 5 stars. So this whole series is a 4 out of 5 stars read for me. I do highly recommend this series if you want to read something magical and summery. I think it was a really fun series to read. I got through the book super fast so if you're looking for a series that you can fly through definitely check this series out. Now I'm going to be talking about the giveaway. I would like to thank the author for providing a signed copy of the first book for me to give away and I'm also going to be personally giving away three Kindle copy of the first book. Therefore there can be four winners in this giveaway. Unfortunately, the signed copy is only open to the US, but the Kindle copies are open to international viewers. I'm doing this giveaway through Rafflecopter, which I haven't done before, but I've seen a lot of other people use it, and I think it's a really great way to keep everything organized. So I will leave the link to the giveaway down in the description box below. The main rule for this giveaway is that you have to be subscribed to my channel. I will leave all the info for the giveaway down below so you can refer to that. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Next time. Bye!